Welcome back to the Canadian Bud Review where I make reviews on Canadian cannabis so you can make an informed and calculated decision the next time you visit your local cannabis retail store. So if that sounds interesting to you, consider subscribing. By the way, if you missed out on my review on Ice Quest, I'll leave the card for that above here so you guys will be updated on that. So we have some very exciting news for the cannabis community. Toronto's very own The Sixth God Drake has announced that he will be launching his very own cannabis strain in partnership with one of, if not the biggest licensed producer, Bohemian, we know as Canopy Growth. Now Canopy Growth has a reputation of being the dominant player in this space and they have also developed a reputation of buying out smaller licensed producers, more notably an American cannabis chain, um, Acreage and Canadian brand Twitter. Weed. Now, Drake partnership with Canopy Growth is a huge win for investors of MJ stocks or marijuana stocks who currently own Canopy Growth stocks. At least one would think so. <laughs> you would think that the stock would have somewhat of a pop, but as you can see right here, that is not the case. As a matter of fact, at the time of the recording of this video, the stock is down for the day, trading at $25.60, which is very, very strange to me. So look guys, I'm not going to read this article in its entirety, however, I will leave the link for that in the description box. What I would do is highlight all the key um, points here, and we're going to discuss that, I'm going to give you my opinion. Guys, by the way, do not forget my next video, which will be uploaded shortly, I will be reviewing Kosher Kush from Whistler Cannabis, organically grown marijuana, and in my opinion, Whistler Cannabis is one of the top LPs um, around today, okay? So on with the article, so according to BN and Bloomberg.com, Drake gets into cannabis business with Canopy Growth Partnership. That's the title. So Drake has teamed up with the largest LP in Canada, guys. And we've seen celebrities like Seth Rogen launch his own strain, which is the house plant. Details of this partnership is as follows. So Drake will own 60% of More Life Growth, which is the strain. That's the, going to be the name of the strain. Now, Canopy Growth will be owning the remaining stake and having the right to nominate two members to the company's board so more life is the name of drake strain as we know drake loves to be methodical with everything he does pretty much and this is no different um you know more life is named after his mixtape he released in 2017 which was a pivotal a pivotal year for the legalization of cannabis in canada okay now as we know man drake does not mess around sure he's an entertainer but these days you know for the past like five years it almost appears as if he's a businessman first then entertainer second so the article goes on to tell us that Canopy Growth has seen several quarters of steep losses in their stock price has tumbled and it attempts to execute a management transition. Now you would think that the acquisition, so to speak, of Drake or the partnership of Drake will help that stock. But as I just alluded to you guys, I showed you at least today, it's not popping, okay? Um, I'm sure that would change in the days and weeks and months to come. Now Drake is not the first celebrity Canopy Growth is affiliated with. Other celebs include Snoop Dogg, Dun, 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 dun. Um, yeah, anyways, Martha Stewart and Seth Rogen, as I mentioned earlier, he already has his strain being sold in, um, you know, it's stocked up on shelves in retail stores right now. I actually smoked it a couple of times and it's okay. The sativa is not bad if you get it at a 22%. So now th th this is a clear indication that Canopy Growth are taking this serious. They're just starting to ramp up their, their, their marketing, right? They're getting these influencers, so to speak, celebrity influencers to, um, yeah, pretty much, you know, shill their products for them. And that's a, you know, if I'm an investor of that stock, that's telling me that how they know what it takes to be successful because marketing is going to be very, very important, okay? Now, this is what I'm going to tell you guys. From a cannabis user perspective, I'm not sold on the quality of this bud. Now, if we look at Drake's previous ventures into the alcohol business or industry, in my humbled opinion, as much as I love you, Drake, Drizzy Drake, all right? Virginia Black tastes like ass, though, okay? Straight up. <laughs> tastes like ass. So um, I hope you could do a little bit better here with more life, which is going to be your marijuana strain, right? Let's hope so. However, from an investor standpoint, one would think we will see this stock rise. So I'll keep a lookout for that. And speaking about being on the lookout, my next cannabis review will be on Kosher Kush from Whistler Cannabis, coming in at 23% organically grown, guys. So don't miss that, guys. Smash that subscribe button, smash that like button, because I'm going to be dropping some fire for you guys on a regular basis. So until the next one, you're on your own. Peace.